All right, boys and girls. So this week we are going to be learning about the element of art called space. So it's a little different than when we think of space, we might think of outer space. But space is the whole area of the picture where when we draw objects, we can draw things above, below, and around. So we're gonna be thinking about how we can make space in our picture when we do pictures of hot air balloons. So one way we can do that is by thinking about the size of the objects that we that we draw. So we have a big hot air balloon here. And by making this hot air balloon nice and big, we're making it seem like it's really close to us. And I have my tiniest hot air balloon here. So I can tell that this hot air balloon is the farthest away from us because it's the smallest. And then these two are a little bit closer because they're a little bit bigger. And like I said before, this is our biggest one. So this is the one that is closest to us. If you notice, I also made my clouds different sizes too to show. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Now your balloons don't have to be in the same spots as mine. All right, you can make yours a little different. If you notice, I have the big one up here. So in this picture, I might make it a little bit different. So you can do it the same as me or you can change it a little. So when we do our hot air balloon, the first one we're gonna make the biggest. So you're gonna start here and you're gonna make a big curve like this. All right, it's almost like an upside down U. All right, and then we're gonna connect here by making a straight line. So I'm gonna just gonna go straight across here. I'm gonna make two lines coming down. These are the ropes or the cables that connect to the basket where people would ride. And I'm gonna make a straight line across, two coming down for the basket, and then I'm gonna go across here. All right, so we have our first hot air balloon done. I'm gonna do another one kind of over here. This one you can see I'm doing the same way. I'm just making it a little bit smaller because remember now this hot air balloon is going to look like it's farther away. And if you notice part of the front air, hot air balloon is overlapping this one so it's in front of it it's covering part of it so that's another way that we can show space too by having objects overlapping so maybe over here i'm gonna make a teeny teeny tiny one two lines here's my little basket and that one we can tell is really far away it's getting so small that it's almost starting to look like it's disappearing because it's going to be so small all right and i think i'm going to add one more right here and remember boys and girls if you have to pause the video anytime because I'm going too fast or you're just having trouble and you wanna slow down, just pause the video and you can continue when you're ready. All right, so I have my last hot air balloon here. Remember, my biggest one is closest. I can see that this is the next biggest one. So this one's a little bit closer, but not as close as the big one. Then this one. And this one is the farthest because it is so small. So you could make more hot air balloons if you'd like, but I'm going to stop here. So if you guys want to add a sun, you could do a sun. I'm going to add some clouds. So I'm going to make this cloud my biggest one because that's the cloud that's kind of closest to us. I'll do a medium one here and maybe I'll add a smaller one. I could even add a little bit sticking out on this side and maybe I'll do one more here. All right, so you decide how many clouds, even if you wanna do little birds, I could do little birds. If they're like that, they're gonna look like they're far away. If I'm going like this, they might look like they're bigger and a little bit closer, right? So make sure you change the sizes so that they look like they're far away, okay? 
If you would like to decorate your hot air balloons, if you have time, you could decorate these. You could draw little pictures on them. Hot air balloons come with so many different decorations now when you see them in the air. So that is totally up to you. I'm going to go back to my original. You can see I decorated these. I drew some lines, a couple shapes. Um, my baskets I made brown because they're usually made of some kind of brown material to um, to do that. And most importantly, don't forget to color your sky blue. So even after you finish your drawing and color the hot air balloons, you need to color your sky too. It could be any kind of blue. And your clouds, be sure to leave them white um, so that they don't look the same color as the sky. Okay, so boys and girls, remember, take your time. You're going to remember that you're learning about the element of art space. And by um, doing our picture this way, we're filling up all the space in our picture. We're making it look like our picture goes really, really far away and really close at the front of the picture. So that's how we can show space and also by showing that objects can overlap. They can go in front of each other. Just like my cloud here too, I didn't even notice. I made my cloud back here and this um, hot air balloon is overlapping in front of that cloud. So that's showing that something is in front of the other thing. All right, so boys and girls, I hope you have fun working on your hot air balloons today. And, um, Try your best. Bye, guys.